Hello everyone, welcome to the Mr. Ben Show, welcome to another reaction video. We got a big one, Nintendo finally is here with their Direct for the year. Right, this is the only one we've gotten this year. We've had Direct Minis, we've had Indie Showcases, um, but not the big yearly E3 Direct or September Direct when they usually do this. Um, yeah, I'm excited, there's some big nudes that's supposed to be here. Um, we're not live because, or we're not watching it live because I woke up at, well, I went to bed at 6, so it's like 11.30 right now, 12. We Let's uh, just on the play it. Of Elios, Get into some shit. Realms surrounding a holy land at its center. Let's say Fire Emblem when I click that. A thousand years ago, our this lands like endured Emblem. a vicious war with the fell dragon. We called upon heroes from other worlds to aid us. Heroes known as emblems. Apparently, with them, according to the rumors, this game has been done for a while. One. In the end, we were victorious in defeating and imprisoning the Fell Dragon. In the years since, our world has been safe. But now, I sense a resurrection. The binding weakens. Anime. Yep, there's main main anime boy. Yep, Fire Emblem engage. You're awake. Huh? You're really awake, yeah? A thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep. <laughs> what are those horrible things? If I may, you are a divine dragon, a member of a royal family of dragons revered as deities. The war, the fell dragon. This is more tactics y than a uh, normal fire emblem, right? The ring! Marth! Right! Sigurd, leave it to me! It is rather quiet, I know. But it will liven up as we gain allies. <laughs> the time has come! Now! As one emblem, engage! Engage. One strike will it's pretty. Off. I'll give it that. I'm not a big Fire Emblem fan, but Please grant me your I've wanted to try. Yeah. This looks like if this is more tactics to you. And bring peace back to Maybe I will like this. Gage. Cool. Oh. January 20th. Dope. Dope. Hello, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the latest installment of the Fire Emblem series, Fire Emblem Engage. In addition to the standard version, we'll also be releasing the Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition, mm. containing collectible okay. items. A bowl tool. Please look forward to more information about this game in the future. Let's take a look at our first batch of headlines. It takes two to tango. Cody and May's relationship is on the rocks. But it gets even tougher when they're turned into dolls. To get their bodies back, they'll brave an onslaught of challenges where working together is the only way forward. Team up and cooperate with a friend in this critically acclaimed two-player platforming adventure. So uh, apparently a good game, you know. Travel with someone by your side. 
adventure through fantastical worlds filled with challenging experiences around every corner. In addition to single system play, the game can also be played on two systems via local wireless or online with a pal one game via of the year free friends year? pass. Help Cody and May return to normal with a partner, of course. One last year. It, it Takes Two launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 4th. I'm scared to go Pre on the internet. Begin today well, I guess if I'm just going on normal internet, I can look it up. The Forbidden Story Begins. Yeah, one last year. Oh. Fatal Frame? After mysteriously vanishing as a child, Ruka Minasuki visits an abandoned hospital uh, in search of her lost memories. Fuck yeah! This is probably one of the Japanese ones we never got, Use right? Use the camera obscura to repel evil spirits and uncover the memories that were sealed away. A dark curse looms near. What ancient oh, rituals the will fatal be frame, revealed? Baby, if I do. Fatal frame. Mask Fuck yeah, Lunar dude. Eclipse launches for the first time in the West on Nintendo Oh yeah, we're on GameSpot, so I'm gonna get ads in the middle of ads. If we grab enough loot, we can uh, the plateau. Fuck you, GameSpot. I tried to go to the Nintendo feed, but it was a uh, the the stream wasn't loading. So this is what we're stuck with. Fuck you, GameSpot. Grammarly makes communication at work one click simpler. Whether you're looking There's a new hero who looks mechanical. Okay. Introducing Wave Two of the Xenoblade oh. Chronicles Three expansion yeah. pass for the Xenoblade Chronicles Three. Gross. This is Eno, a new hero. She appears to be. Uh, she needs to be mechanical? punted into existence. Uh, oh. Her quest. She is up. Your party. <laughs> Expanding your options for classes and battle strategies. I hate her. <laughs> Challenge battles will also be added. Test your medal in consecutive battles against tough enemies. Defeat all I imagine we're going to get an update on rewards. Bayonetta 3. Challenge even and stronger enemies to the rumor for this is that we're going to get a bunch of remakes. Outfits. Is that a new Fatal Frame? More hero and gameplay additions oh, there's will anime arrive bullshit. in Wave 3. You really like Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles Xenoblade 3. 3 expansion pass launches on Nintendo Fatal Switch October Frame. 13th. Mass. Get drawn into these Nintendo Switch games. Nautical nonsense yeah, begins in when Spongebob and Patrick make a wish that unravels the, the cosmic shape of the universe. In this We're excited for that. adventure, you'll travel through portals to seven outlandish wish worlds like prehistoric kelp forest and wild west jellyfish fields. Explore cool. using all sorts of wacky moves, don over 30 fantastic cosmic costumes, and meet your favorite Bikini Bottom residents from the TV series, voiced by their original actors. That's it! Soak up SpongeBob cool. SquarePants, The Cosmic Shake, That's launching on Nintendo Switch next year. Next year. Damn. You're already... Fist of the North Star? Fit? Box with familiar characters. Okay. <laughs> Fist of the North Star. Sure. They'll be your instructors in exercise <laughs> what? mode, leading you through various boxing drills. Defeat as many enemies as you can. Oh, is it gonna be like insanely in gory too? Mode. That'd be funny. Or take on rivals in boss battles, including Jaggy. Fitness boxing, fist of the North Star. At the end of your workout, Nintendo you just Switch, shove a thumb into some dude's head and their heads explode. This ain't your uncle's dodgeball. <laughs> Throw whatever you can at opponents in this hilariously hard-hitting party game. Embrace the absurdity of frantic minigames, okay. each one featuring A new game ridiculous beast, basically. rules in madcap arenas. Customize your character from head to toe with hundreds of accessories. Plus, challenge up to six friends and frenemies in local and I'm gonna keep yawning because I fucking woke up less than an hour ago. <laughs> launches on Nintendo Switch early next year. I slept for maybe four. Washes ashore on a ruined island. Brave the unknown in this isometric action adventure game. Your only clue here is the manual. Traverse the island's interconnected realms to the manual of tunic. Pages. The end game manual like that dangerous is so fucking dope. Even more dangerous monsters. I really want to play this game corner. on the channel. 
I played a little bit for the demo. What that was it. Secrets will the island reveal? I've just been putting it off. Tunic launches on the Nintendo it's like Death Store. I played like Death Store for an hour and a half. Pre -orders begin today Maybe two Nintendo hours, Nintendo and then I fell off. I'm like, damn, I just need to play that again and like go back on the channel. For these front mission I put remakes. it on the channel. Front mission, Four yeah. Of two front mission games are storming He's in. in front mission one this is the last direct? You'll pilot giant machines this now it's added direct. In tactical <laughs> turn-based combat. As you progress, you'll obtain skills that can help you gain the upper hand against opponents. Hey. You can also test your metal at the Coliseum. Continue the battle in the sequel, <laughs> previously unreleased outside of Japan. Take advantage of additional features like more terrain effects, weapon and armor attributes, and over 80 new skills added from the first game. Cool. Front Mission 1 Remake launches on Nintendo Switch this November. Front Mission 2 Remake will launch on We're Nintendo Switch games. next year. And in the future, oh, yeah. a remake of Front Mission 3 will also launch on Sick. Nintendo That's Switch. That's new. Cool. It's a wonderful life for a new generation. After nearly 20 Ever years, seen? a beloved farming sure experience is reborn. That's the first one. Welcome back to Forgotten Valley. Here, you'll manage a farm passed down to you by your father. Restore and expand your farm as you nurture crops. Care for your friends. You don't know what happened to Harvest Moon. The, the original people of Harvest Moon are now making these games. The and Harvest Moon now is power. owned by like some shell company. That makes you might even shitty your future Harvest Moon games, I guess. I haven't played family. Harvest Moon since I was a child, but In this I did play Story of Seasons on the DS. As time goes on. That was good. Their I liked it. Will change over the years. Your child will also choose their career based on how you raise them. An especially wonderful farm life in Forgotten Valley lies ahead. I want to get a DS again. I don't have one. Not anymore. Story of Seasons. A wonderful life launches on Nintendo Switch. Hey, summer 2023. God damn it, GameSpot. Fucking ad. Oikos Pro. Oikos Fuck you. How strong do you want to be? Introducing boneless bar Introducing. pizza at 9.99. The ultimate game day food is yeah, here. I'm excited. I'm ex. I'm excited for the back half because we're just banging through stuff. Split two and three. Yep. Split us. Post-launch Splatfest for Splatoon. This game is selling amazingly, apparently. Here's the theme. It's like 3.5 million units the first weekend in just in Japan. Gear, That's insane. Or fun. That's fucking insane. And that's published sales, and Nintendo only publishes physical sales. So many ink. That's fucking crazy. Which team will you join? Okay. More free updates are planned for Splatoon 3. Be on the lookout for more info in the future. I wish I would have like clipped my nails or something. So, squids, what before, did you think? Before we did this. What would you bring to a deserted island? As for me, I've already decided. I hope you'll all participate as well. Hangnail. Next, please take a look at this. Okay. I'm looking. Is this a new Octopath game? Yep. Oh, hell yeah, it's just straight up Octopath Traveler 2. I was making it, I was saying it as in like a another 2.5 D made by the team but it's just straight up octopath too cool with that we could realize a world without <coughs> conflict without bloodshed i'm going to become a star and bring smiles to people's faces how just big is the studio 
Because they're like... Eliminate that devil called poverty from are they working the three games at once? Constantly? Shall die by my hand. Not again. Not the stench. The stench of blood. <laughs> Doubt is what I do. Okay, we got this. Triangle strategy just came out earlier this year, like a few months ago. And then they're also working on a Dragon Quest Explore III remake. Wide world set in a bustling era. Each traveler's path action differs between day and night. Yeah. Our Lord knows well the ways of the world. What will happen These games are when pretty. paths intertwine? There's a lot of fucking talking. There's always so much talking. It's like the biggest turnoff for these games is the dialogue. The eight travelers. They know his voice actor though. Story to tell. Did the other games voice actors lead them and you. These are the kinds of games that I'd usually play with the sound off on a handheld mode. February 24, 2023. Cool. That's sooner than I would have thought. What you just saw was Octopath Traveler 2 from Square Enix. Please look forward to the journeys of eight new heroes. Hell yeah. Let's see some more headlines. Cool. <laughs> A magical home is waiting for you. Welcome to your new fairy tale oh, life edgy. in Fae Farm. Oh, fuck. Cultivate your homestead. Fae Farm. And forge everlasting friendships in this farm simulation RPG. Discover I magical spells to grow crops. Face off against mischievous foes. Oh. And explore the enchanted realms of Azoria. Along the way, you'll befriend a lively cast of characters who call this island their home. Tend and grow your fairy tale farmstead so it makes such a huge fucking difference if Ubisoft would come out with a show like this by gathering <laughs> instead of and crafting whatever items, the fuck they did yesterday. Customize your home and enjoy this mesmerizing adventure even more. There's a fly, the I might kill change, it, and open food way. Oh, no, surprises can be unlocked. That'll help you restore Azoria to its natural splendor. Magic awaits in Fae Farm. Farm. Launching Phoenix. exclusively on Nintendo Switch, Spring 2023. It's a musical blast get from it. the past. Get this fly. Celebrate the 35th anniversary of the Final Fantasy series with the latest theater rhythm game. Okay. Enjoy theater iconic rhythm, songs Final like Bar One Winged what? Angel. Torn from the heavens. Core Power Elite ah! has 22 grams of high quality protein to help you recover and build lean muscle. Get out of here, Applebee's. Suteki Dane and more. There are 385 songs total. Songs are categorized by game. So you can play each stage while experiencing the series through the music. In addition, two players locally can complete stages in pair style, while up to four players can battle to the beat in online multi-battle. Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line begins its symphony on the Nintendo Switch system February 16th, 2023. Cool. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Okay. <laughs> After the game's launch, paid DLC songs from the Saga series. Near series. Makes sense. Octopath Traveler. Live Alive and more will be released. That's 90 additional songs. Plus, additions containing a season pass and 27 extra songs, including Melodies of Life, will be available. A lot of fucking songs. Cosmic Adventure is just around the corner. Mm -hmm. Blast off on an adventure of galactic so proportions with day. Mario and the rabbit. For way too long. Let's dive into exploration. Why? Freely roam through all sorts of wondrous worlds. Each one jammed with discoveries. Ubisoft had like... Discoveries. What? It was like eight minutes Fine of a coins. demo and like... 
five or six minutes on top of that of a dude just talking behind a screen. Oh, that was like the worst paced event in a while. At shops, you can get items that'll come in handy during battles. After each quest or battle, your team will earn rewards and get stronger. Sparks are here to lend a helping hand. Recruit up to 30 different sparks, each with their own special powers Ugh. and skills. They can help spark a decisive victory. Then get it and slap the fuck out of my knee. <laughs> can Mario and the Rabbits put an <clears throat> end to the darkness? I'm, I want to play this game. Mario plus Rabbits. So that Ubisoft event was Nintendo Switch October garbage. <laughs> Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. But we did see a lot of this game a there. A gold edition can also be pre-ordered. Containing like I said, the maybe too much, but... weapon skins and a season pass. Restore peace between humans and monsters. Okay. Rune Factory 3 returns Makes on sense. Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Take a break from quests to chat with the locals. That was DS, right? Crops and care for that was definitely DS. <laughs> among other relaxing activities. You can also transform into a monster? Your abilities in battle and conversations with the locals will vary depending on your form. Your choices will also cause different events to occur. Plus, a brand new mode has been added I change to help forms you when enjoy you can be a more quality time with your in-game spouse. Rune Factory 3 Special launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Go. Six. Plus, a new Rune Factory series will launch in the future. Of course. <laughs> oh. More Nintendo 64 games are on the way. Pilot Wings 64. Okay. Sure. Mario Party. Dope. Mario Party 2. Cool. Mario Party 3. Coliseum. Give me a Coliseum. Pokemon Stadium. Bam! Stadium. That's what I meant. Calcium Stadium too. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Snowboarding. Fuck yeah. Excite Bike 64. Fuck yeah. These games will gradually be added in the future. You can play a selection of Nintendo 64 Damn. games and enjoy many more gaming benefits. God, Stadium is like Nintendo the Switch one reason why I want expansion pack membership. I want to get the expansion. Oh, and there's one more game we should mention. Metroid Prime. Oh, fuck, GoldenEye. Why is the Prime logo up there? <laughs> Coming soon. With online play. Why not mix things up with We're gonna get that Nintendo Switch the games. Xbox 360 announcement for that soon. Live your best life or not the 360, uh, Xbox Series X, Xbox One. Perform over 100 types of daily tasks Sorry, I, didn't. I missed that. ...and deepen your relationships with the locals. In doing so, you'll gain access to different job classes and abilities. A grand adventure into the unknown awaits. Various Daylight launches on Nintendo Switch later Various today. Various Daylight. Shadow Drop. Various Daylight. The malfunction causes you to crash land on a strange planet. Build a new rock Victoria. from scratch in this management sim game. Okay. Scour the planet. Now what if that would be coming to Switch? But then why not? Build machines to refine them into various resources. Eventually, you'll construct multiple production lines like these. But the planet's creatures will attack, so keep them at bay. Factorio launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Dope. A young girl named Ib visits an art museum with her parents in this 2D exploration adventure. Please. She wanders through a busy gallery by the artist Guertena until gotcha, bitch. one particular piece draws her in. Will she be able to safely return to her own world? Every decision affects her fate in Ib. Launching on Nintendo Switch oh, yeah. in spring 2023. 
fucking ads, dude. So far, we're pumping through pretty fast. Maybe 12 minutes left. 12-ish minutes. 15. Minutes. Mario Strikers Battle League, where eight players locally on one system can get gritty, is getting uh -huh. a second pre-update. Oh. I was gonna say this is definitely out. Pauline, a physical Pauline. powerhouse with fast movements and strong tackles. Okay. And Diddy Kong, oh. a midfield speedster with dazzling techniques and high pass accuracy. Cool. Plus, more gear and another stadium are being added. People say this game was fine, launches this month. but nothing more than fine. The final summer begins. I don't know. I'll give it a try. If I had it. If it's in front of me, I'll play it. <laughs> when strange islands suddenly appear, Ryzen's uh, alchemist is in the world. Oh, super homeland long time. From impending danger. Sprawling landscapes set the stage for your adventure. Freely explore this vast world and forge your own path in this charming RPG. Eleven heroes from all walks of life will join your party. During battle, work with your allies to activate various skills, which can be swapped out when needed. Teamwork is paramount after all. New features are also in store. The keys to this lively adventure are in your hands. It's like every RPG. Just shoved it Atelier off. Rise of Three, Alchemist of the End, and the Secret Key launches on the Nintendo Switch. That's the title. February 24th, good, good for you. <laughs> okay. Wave Three is on the way. Oh. That was a fast. Here's a sneak peek at fast, two courses uh, racing into Wave Three. Mary mm. Mountain from Mario Kart Tour. Cool. Peach Gardens from Mario Kart DS. Cool. Wave three of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Man. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game launches this holiday. Okay. Cool. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion to say the Wave Two DLC was like no additional cost. July. The DLC can also they want to make it last until whenever. How was that? Yeah. Next, we have some news to further. share about Nintendo Switch Sports. <coughs> In the next free update, golf will be added. Hmm. That's still not on there yet. course you can play these locally additionally up to eight players online can play at the same time on the same course in survival golf those with the most strokes will be out we previously this game sold that pretty well too release this fall of course however it's like no we sports for but so the update is now planned sell? for this holiday fine please wait just a little longer next we have a special guest that Mr. sounds Miyamoto. like a moat. Yeah. Hello, it's been a while. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. I have a few things I'd like to share with you today, including some news. First, as you may have heard, the Super Mario Brothers animated movie we're developing with okay. Chris Melodandri Bye. from Illumination will release next Damn spring. Damn it. And Super Nintendo World, which My is entering its second year at there Universal is. Studios Japan, will also it's open in Hollywood, California, My weapon. in the U.S. My weapon of choice against the flies. Finishing touches for both. Today, I'd like gotcha. to talk a little bit about Pikmin. Oh shit, Pikmin Four! It's been over 20 years since the first game, and we're still working on the series. This is Pikmin Bloom. No. It's a smart device nope. game we started with Niantic late last year, in which players all over the world are playing. We're killing it! Here's a quick rundown of the game for those who have yet to play it. Pikmin Bloom is a smart device game that uses your location. By walking outside, you can find Pikmin, raise them, and plant flowers together. 
All you need to do is take it with you on your daily walks or out. Okay. You can look back at the end of the day and see where you walked. Send out Pikmin and collect the items they found that day. And feed them nectar to increase their petals. Okay. So how many steps did we take today? <laughs> I wonder, this is probably why nobody's playing it. You, can also you, you see what AR you... When I get crazy here, right? I mean, it's cute. Pikmin are all around you. Let's take a quick look at my screen. <laughs> I have nearly 700 Pikmin. They love nectar. If you give Pikmin nectar like you see here, their flowers will bloom. You'll also see the number of steps you've taken that day. Regarding the map, the clouds will clear along the path you walk, so you can keep a record of locations you've visited. I normally move around within Kyoto, but I've also been going to Osaka, to Universal Studios Japan. Makes sense. I occasionally go to Tokyo as well. You'll say to yourself, okay, this time I'll try walking here. It makes trips and walks a lot of fun. It's a very easygoing play experience you can enjoy just by taking it with you. I hope you'll try it out. Okay. Okay, now to the main event. Please take a look at this. Mario. Oh no, we're still still Pikmin. Pikmin 4, baby! Woo! Fucking finally! <laughs> when it was before the 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 switch, right? Came out when they said Pikmin 4 is coming. And like it's been done. Woo! Woo we did it! And that's it. Okay, 2023. Add. God damn it. Pick with four, dude. Offers. That's car selling reimagined. Carmax. Yeah, that's been on the shelf for a while. That's right. Pikmin 4 will launch in 2023. That we won't be showing any gameplay today. However, you'll be able to play like this from the Pikmin's perspective near the ground. Hell yeah. I also made a new t shirt. Hell yeah, I want that shirt. Nintendo Switch has made controlling the game simpler, all the colors. meaning you can further concentrate on the core essence of Pikmin gameplay. We call it Dandori in Japanese, or strategically planning, deploying, and commanding the Pikmin. I hope you're all looking forward to Hell Pikmin yeah. 4. Thank you. Dandori. Can you survive the season of death? Fuck yeah. Pikmin 4, dude. As you Harvestella. cultivate a peaceful farm life in the village of Lee. This comes out like next week, right? The season of death quietus continuously returns, threatening to Anime. destroy all. <laughs> Travel the world and find a way to put an end to the calamity in this life simulation RPG. Along the way, allies with different motives will join your cause. While facing numerous dangers, you'll begin to uncover the truth of this ill-fated world. After this presentation, a demo containing the opening days oh. of your farm's first Ooh. season will be available on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> Save data can be transferred I know to the full game once recently. purchased. playable recently. Was that PAX? Harvestella launches on Nintendo Switch November cool. 4th. I thought... So, not as close as I thought. Canada, here we go. After 500 years, Umbra Witch Bayonetta was revived in the present day. In the first Bayonetta game, she clashed with angels to recover her lost memories. And in the second, <clears throat> confronted demons to save her best friend. Now, in this third installment, she'll fight to protect the world from the sudden invasion of man-made bioweapons called homunculi. Stupid. She's gone from fighting for herself to fighting for others to fighting for the world to fighting herself Those again. Who overcome their past histories with Bayonetta to fight alongside her include the journalist Fight this Nika. dude. And another Umbra Fight Witch, this John. chick. New ally Viola also joins in on the action. A hair raise. Fight him as well. Fight them all. Demon summoning. Globe trotting adventure awaits in Bayonetta 3, launching on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Still doing it in October. Hell yeah. On Nintendo eShop.
We're doing it. After today's Nintendo Direct, a new trailer delving more into gameplay will launch on our official YouTube channel. Ooh. A dark fantasy mystery abounds from the creators of Danganronpa. Okay. Welcome to the city of perpetual rain. Many cases remain unsolved like that. in this corporate controlled metropolis. I like that. That sound. Perpetual rain. Those who investigate are called master detectives who come from all around the world. Master Detective Archives Rain what? Yuma, an amnesiac detective. And Shinigami, the spirit haunting him after their pact. Also makes video games. Unsolved cases as a trainee at the detective agency. Persona 5? Yeah, that was her. Crime scene to gather clues and evidence. When you're ready, Shinigami will conjure a realm tying the crime scene to the truth. A mystery labyrinth. Overcome obstacles and manifestations of mysteries to edge closer to the actual events. However, mystery phantoms will attempt to hinder your progress during each case. Avoid their barrage of falsehoods and slash through contradictions. Oh, that was Uncover bad looking. That showed so badly. Code, launching code. first on That's the Nintendo was. Switch system, spring 2023. Those animations are rough. If you dare. Resident Evil 8. What is it? Uh, yeah, the Cloud latest version. installment in the Resident Evil series is coming to Nintendo Switch as a cloud version. They couldn't get 7 on, so it, ma it makes Winters sense. Must face the if you're going to do 8 as well, lords to put it on the cloud just like daughter. you do with 7. Resident Evil Village Cloud launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. <coughs> You can download and try out the free demo today on Nintendo oh. eShop to pre-order the full game. As well. Oops. The Winter's Expansion DLC containing a new third-person mode, additional story content, and more will launch December 2nd. Additionally, Dope. three other recent entries in the Resident Evil series will be available as cloud versions on Nintendo Switch this year. That's right, 7 only came out in Japan. Was that a limited thing? It's an it might have been like a, of Nintendo Switch games. A beta test. Vanquish kind of foes thing. to avenge your father in this kung fu oh, action brawl. Sifu, cool. By thrusting, tripping, and parrying opponents. I don't know if playing on this on Switch would be hand. Fall in combat and you'll get I mean, Souls on Switch is fine. In turn, however, you'll learn new techniques to complete your mission. This is just a, Can you exact revenge before your time a little bit out? more. Sifu pummels its way onto Nintendo Switch November 8th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo You get a little Switch. bit more aggressive playing this game. Experience the events button leading up to Final Fantasy VII in this exhilarating action RPG. Zack Fair is a young and ambitious okay. soldier operative aspiring okay, to become a hero. Together with Sephiroth and Cloud, he investigates strange disappearances within his elite unit. This remaster features enhanced HD graphics, an updated combat system, and new soundtrack arrangements. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion launches on Nintendo Switch December 13th. The classic arcade shoot 'em up Radiant Silver Gun is coming to Nintendo Switch. Ooh. Fire different types of weapons to take down waves of enemies. I'm not a big Defeat shoot 'em up person. Enemies but of the same color for a chain bonus. I or take these down before. differently colored ones for a secret bonus. They're fine. I like. Rack them. up these bonuses for a high score. <laughs> Radiant Silver Gun launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Oh. Recruit a team of shipwrecked heroes and make your way out of a derelict space station. Another game that I could have sworn was out in the endless universe. But it's not as easy as it sounds. Maybe it's out on everything else. Continuous waves of monsters as you make your way through procedurally generated levels. Complete various quests to unlock new heroes, weapons, Here, station areas, and more. 
Up to three players in online co-op can attempt to escape their grim fate. Do you have what it takes? Endless Dungeon launches Do on you? Nintendo Switch next year. Okay. The journey of world regeneration begins anew. Remaster of Tales of Symphonia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay. The world of Silveront is controlled by shadowy forces called Desiance. To stop them, a person known as the Chosen One must ascend the I Tower of Salvation. I that's also coming to everything else. Then. I really hope that's true. Lloyd soon embarks on a journey with Colette, the current Chosen One, and his childhood friend in this beloved action RPG. They'll meet allies. We are getting a lot of remasters. Like the wandering aristocrat, so. Zellos. And a lumberjack who lost her emotions the, after an experiment. The rumor Persea. is true. Other allies or will leak. also join the party. The rumor, whatever. Just a whole bunch of. Yeah, getting a the bunch of remasters and remakes and stuff. Which isn't bad. I don't mind it. Tales of Symphonia remastered. I like some old games. Its journey on Nintendo <laughs> Switch early next year. God damn it, with the ads. Clean electrolytes okay, get on it out. to get you up get out of the way. noon hydration. I need to pay for YouTube Red. It's just so stupidly expensive. For no reason. It's like, why am I paying $20 so, so I don't have ads? Fuck this. Montage. That's a different montage for you, normal. Ooh, I like that. Hell yeah, whatever that is. Give me a building things. Speed storm. Saw this the other day too. Okay. okay. Season two. Season two with the free version. New Kirby? Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe is coming oh. to Nintendo Switch. Okay. One day, a spaceship crash lands on planet Popstar. Yeah. To help Magalore return to his home planet, Kirby and his friends set off on an adventure. In addition to sword, whip, and other familiar copy abilities, the new mecha copy ability makes its debut. Blast foes from a distance or punch them up close. It's packed with other powerful moves as well. The game supports local play for up to four players on the same system. Cool. Plus, everyone can play as Kirby while using their favorite copy abilities. What system? There's also a collection of sub games to play. This includes the new sub game Magalore's Tome Trackers. And returning ones like Samurai Kirby. All sub Weird. games can be played with up to four players. It's not as old as I remember it being. I do remember playing this. An adventure of deluxe proportions awaits. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 24th, sure. 2023. Cool. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. As part of Kirby's 30th anniversary, a remake oh, of Kirby's to Return to Dreamland will be released. We hope you're looking forward to this game. Thank you for watching today's Nintendo Direct. This next trailer will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Okay, here we go. One last one. I assume it's Zelda. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. This isn't the remake. This is Breath of the Wild too. So are we not going to get the remakes? Oh, 
Hell yeah, show more Breath of the Wild though. Fuck yeah, dude. I wonder if we'll get the name. I doubt we'll get a date. But I think it's time to <laughs> just say the name of your game. What's that? Legend of Zelda. Tears of the Kingdom. Okay. Cool. That's a whole new game. <laughs> okay. May 12th. I was not expecting a date. I will get delayed. I assume so. Yeah, dude, Sensitive no remake. Sensitivity and gum is a no remake. Uh, it's just a bummer. I mean, we know that they're out there. Reports and stuff like that. We know that Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess. I guess I should. I, didn't, I was just saying the remakes. I wasn't saying names. Um, yeah, we, we know they're out there. Just like we knew Pikmin 4. It was still out there. Uh, just like we knew that Fire Emblem game was out there. Um, shit, dude. That was, that was long. There wasn't a lot of highs, but it was steady. And it just kept going, and it was snappy. And that's what I love. No bullshit. Just games, games, games. That's what I want from, from these. I don't want Ubisoft standing on there, talking for five minutes. Or... Show a teaser trailer, then talk for five minutes, then show an actual trailer, then talk for another five minutes. That was bad. That was so gnarly. But this was great. Um, we got a lot of cool stuff. Of course, Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Um, but Bayonetta 3, uh, Kirby, fucking Pokemon Stadium is so cool. Um, I, I guess I could have guessed that from the... the the Kadabra, but I was like, that's probably just like Snap or something like that. Um, nope. Stadium is sick. I love Stadium. Um, jeez, dude. 1080. Like, all, all, all those N64 games are just straight bangers. Uh, Return to Dreamland looks cool. I, I never, I guess I, I remember playing the Wii version. I don't remember which Wii game I played. But it's Kirby. So it can't be much different than other Kirby games. So I'm excited. I'm excited for a lot of things. Pikmin 4 is crazy. I'm so excited that that's going to finally come out at some point. Still no date on that. It's a 2023 though, right? Uh, what did we start out with? We started out with Fire Emblem. That looks more tactics-y than I remember Three Houses being. Um... I didn't play Three Houses at all. I I know of Fire Emblem. I know characters' names. I've heard stories of people's stories. Um, but I never got into the series myself. So um, maybe this will be the one. Who knows? Uh, Three Houses didn't do it for me. But I don't know. Maybe Popsicle Dude with his red and blue hair will uh, get me into the game. Probably not. But we'll try it. Uh, yeah. Weirdly saying, hey, yeah, we're working on a Rune Factory 6. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we, I could have guessed that, but might as well say it. Confirm it. Uh, Octopath Traveler 2 is kind of crazy because they just put out a game not too long ago, and they're working on Dr Dragon Quest 3 HD. Um, so... I don't know, that's uh, it's a lot faster for an Octopath Traveler 2 than I would have thought. But Octopath Traveler was 2019, I think. 2018. Um, so it has been a while since the first one, technically. But that studio's just pumping out games, doing their thing. Uh, hell yeah, dude. What a solid direct. I don't know. I, 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 I'm... I think I've said what I need to say and said everything in between. Um, it's a bummer that we couldn't watch a version without all those ads, but it is what it is. Uh, 
What time is it? I think it's... Yeah, it's almost 2 o'clock my time. In about four hours from when I'm recording now, uh, PlayStation is also having an event. So stay tuned to my channel if you want to see me react and talk shit or be extremely happy. Um, <laughs> while we do that, it's uh, going to be about 20 minutes long. They said it's going to focus more on Japanese development because Tokyo Game Show is actually this week, which is why they're getting it out of the way today, Nintendo and PlayStation, because the rest of the week will be Tokyo Game Show. So might as well show what you're going to have there. Um, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Well, with that being said, it's been fun. It's been real. Peace out, Cup Scouts. Bye!